appreciate everybody coming and spending some time with us today and also appreciate everybody's patience with waiting until we had the staff uh, completely put together uh, before, uh, before announcing anything. If my cheeks are a little bit rosy, it's because this head was not made for this weather. Uh, still adjusting. But really, really excited about the staff that we've been able to put together. For me, what, what I was looking for is really familiarity, uh, guys that I've worked with or known for a very, very long time, guys that I, I trust, uh, guys that I know how that they're going to interact with the players and these young men that we're working with, how these guys are going to be in the community, and then also have a connection uh, with Penn State uh, from a lot of different perspectives. You know, we feel like we got a really good plan uh, based off our experiences, but you better have a plan that is specific and unique to the institution that you're at. Um, and I think the staff is going to allow us to do that. Also, recruiting is so important. So having guys that have strong ties, not only to the state of Pennsylvania, but this region as well. Uh, and I feel like we've done that. You know, the things that I'm always looking for, if you kind of look at the staff, um, what I'm looking for is I, I want to surround myself with as many smart guys as I possibly can. And I think you hear that all the time in leadership. Uh, people talk about getting into leadership roles and surrounding themselves with really, really talented people, but then they don't do that. A lot of people get intimidated by that. Uh, I'm going to surround myself with as many talented people as, as I possibly can, and you're going to see that on the staff. The other thing is I wanted to surround myself with guys that are loyal. And when I say loyal, loyal to Penn State University, uh, loyal to James Franklin, um, and are fired up about being here and this opportunity, what I think is one of the more unique opportunities in, in, uh, you know, in college football. Uh, so you're going to see that. The other thing is guys that are teachers, guys that have a really, really good foundation to understand that coaching is, is, is teaching. And we're going to use every, every um, resource we possibly can to reach these young men. That's, you know, whether we're giving them playbooks and things in writing, uh, whether we're using the video and all the technologies out there, whether we have walkthroughs, uh, you know, practices, all the different things we do to try to get these young men to understand what we're trying to get done and why. So teachers is something that's very, very important. And then recruiting. I, I, I've been a lot of staffs where you have coaches where the coach says, well, this guy's okay because he's a really, really good coach, but maybe he um, isn't going to be the best recruiter and we're not going to ask him to recruit. We will not have one guy on this staff that, that I don't feel is going to be a, a excellent recruiter. Um, and that, that's really kind of what we're looking for. So I'll, I'll go through the staff right now. Uh, Bob Shoup, our defensive coordinator, and will also be coaching the safeties. Bob is a Pennsylvania guy uh, from the Pittsburgh area, uh, was our defensive coordinator, is a Yale grad, um, very, very sharp, very, very intelligent, has been very, very successful everywhere he's been, um, has been able to put a top 25 defense together three years in a row for us uh, at, our last, at our last coaching stop. Uh, John Donovan, our offensive coordinator, uh, was with us for three years as well uh, at Vanderbilt. Before that, I have long ties with John all the way back to our times at, at Vanderbilt. Um, John's from New Jersey. Again, another guy with strong ties to this area. Uh, went to Johns Hopkins, uh, you know, Yale, Johns Hopkins. I know that they're the first two schools you guys think of when you think of football powers. Um, but again, guys that are very, very intelligent and uh, excited about being here. Charles Huff is going to be our special teams coordinator uh, and coach our running backs. Uh, Charles was with us at the University of Maryland, then was all, with, with us uh, at Vanderbilt, left and went to the Buffalo Bills. Um, and then we were able to bring him back uh, after his next coaching stop and is going to coordinate our, our, our special teams. A lot of coaches um, talk about how important special teams are, but you look at the way they practice, you look at the emphasis they put on it, and it's, it's, more, it's more lip service. We are committed to being great on special teams and, and I'm really, really excited about having Charles join our staff as well. Um, Brent Pry, our assistant head coach, co-defensive coordinator, linebackers coach. I've known Brent for a very, very long time. Uh, Brent's father's from Altoona. Uh, Brent's father was my offensive coordinator in college. He's done a great job uh, for us uh, and everywhere we've been. Uh, had a big impact for us at Vanderbilt, uh, not only in recruiting, not only in dealing with the media and some taking some things off my plate as well. Uh, very, very sharp guy, uh, great coach, great recruiter. 
Uh, Josh Gaddis, our offensive recruiting coordinator and wide receivers coach, you're going to see. Uh, we are going to have a recruiting coordinator on both sides of the ball. Uh, that's something that we just want to make sure that we're emphasizing. Josh is going to make sure that uh, from here on out, we have one of the top recruiting classes on the offensive side of the ball is going to get together with Coach Donovan and make sure that uh, we're filling all of our needs and, and, and chasing the talent that we need to chase, not only in our, in our great state, but this region and also nationally has done a great job. You'll look at you look at the people that he's worked that he's worked with and the type of success that he's had uh, with the wide receiver position. Herb Han will be our run game coordinator and an offensive line coach. Uh, you guys will get to know Herb really well because he is a beast on uh, Twitter and social media. Um, he's a great guy, great personality. He's going to do a really good job working with our offensive line. He's got tremendous experience, was a part of the Tulsa staff um, that was the number one offensive unit in the country, if, if I'm correct on that. Uh, but you guys would love to get to know Herb and his family as well. Uh, Ricky Ronnie, our passing game coordinator and quarterbacks coach. Uh, Ricky played at Cornell, was a graduate assistant for us at Kansas State. Uh, was fortunate enough to bring him uh, with us to Vanderbilt, did a great job developing the quarterbacks. Me and him coached the quarterbacks at Kansas State, helped develop Josh Freeman, a really, really smart guy. Another guy is a Cornell grad. Um, I, I probably should have mentioned Herb Hand uh, is a Hamilton grad. He gets upset when I don't throw him out there with Yale and those other ones as well. Uh, but Ricky Ronnie's a uh, Cornell grad, uh, does a great job, and um, is, is, him and his family are, are so excited about being here. His wife is from Pittsburgh, so really excited about coming back home as well. Uh, Terry Smith is going to be our defensive recruiting coordinator, is going to coach the corners. Um, you know, I got to know Terry years ago through recruiting and going into Gateway High School and was always so impressed with him. The fact that he was able to, you know, leave the high school ranks and get some college experience was very important as well. And then for us to be able to get a guy with really strong Penn State ties on our staff, um, I thought was very, very important and excited about what he's going to bring to the table. Again, all these guys, uh, so intelligent, great working with kids, passionate about working with kids and making a difference in their lives. Um, and then, as you guys will get to know, Coach Chaos, uh, Sean Spencer, our defensive line coach. Um, he's another PSAC guy, Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference. Uh, he played at Clarion and um, it, it was together, it was with us at Vanderbilt, was putting together a really, really good defensive line, helps us in a lot of different areas. You're going to see the type of impact this guy has on the team as a whole in terms of bringing energy, relating really well with the players. Um, and uh, if you've seen any of the videos, a lot of the pregame speeches and things like that. So really excited about the coaches we put together. You guys will also get to spend some time with Dwight Galt, uh, probably the most important hire that we've made, our strength coach, um, who I've been with Deej, I think, for over 13 years now. Uh, think the world of him. He's kind of the Yoda of the program. Um, you'll, you'll walk by his office. There'll always be players sitting in his room talking to him. Um, tremendous mentor um, you know, for the players. Same thing with the coaches. You see the assistant coaches and myself. I usually bounce every idea I have off of this guy. Um, and he's going to do a really, really good job of developing our guys off the field. I think that was one of the biggest changes that you saw in our program uh, at Vanderbilt over the last three years is how much bigger, stronger, more athletic, more explosive that we got in a very, very short period of time. So uh, really excited about the staff. I feel like we got great teachers. I think we got great coaches. And I think we'll have the most aggressive uh, recruiting staff in America.